you post the notice? I did indeed. Hands of Sidaris, mercenary captain. Know of a monster that needs slaying. You interested? What kind of monster are we talking about? If only I knew. It was like this. Got rid of it to hire me and my company, but he's been late with the pay the last weeks. And I'll be damned if we're to risk our lives for free, like hell. Couldn't agree more. But you were gonna tell me about the monster. Yes, yes. We arrived here, encamped. Then it turned out some beast prowls the area. Snatches cows and the like. Reckoned we should help the local boys, so we grabbed our weapons and set out. Me and Kurt one way, Gerd and Henk the other. Gerd and Henk never returned. Whatever it was, it got him. Jobs for a professional, clearly. So Kurt and me, we chipped in for a small reward, hoping someone's willing to help the locals avenge our comrades in the process. Awfully noble of you. Yeah. Mercenaries, we've our honor too. Well, Master Witcher, what will it be? Will you take the job? All right. Where do I start looking? South of here. It's where we split up. It's where we last saw Gerd and Henk alive. Greetings. Is it herbs you seek? Medicines to mute a bashful maid's inhibitions? Or a concoction to raise your own courage for a second go? Hear about the contract. Whew. A taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. Stick to the point, if you don't mind. Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I'm anxious, is all. Been so long without any what. <sighs> it's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the dead white wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. I I'd run out of hand fiber, see, and the, the damned stuff grows thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. Yes. Uh, uh, no, he hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? Hmm. Got to think on that. Well, he's a... Uh... A halfling, as I am. Uh, light hair. Will that do? It'll have to. Jord, sharp now. <laughs> We've company. What's brought you to these parts, Master? Lost your way? No, looking for someone. Ah, do tell. Perhaps we can help. What is this place, exactly? A village. Plain to see. Abandoned huts is about all I see. Aye. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work. And the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. Bloodstains in the hut next door. Know anything about that? Aye, of course. Judd Guts game in there. In someone else's hut? None live there no more, see? And working neath the roof, it's more pleasant. Civilized. Rain don't whip and sun don't blind. But why poke your nose in there to start with? You better to give an old couple some peace. Looking for someone named Fulkert. Light-haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. He fled here seeking shelter. I told him. Back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard owling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. Didn't go looking. But well, he's too old to go tramping about in the woods. So long. Been to your larder. 
meat-rich diet. That what you like? Master, not at all. Tate like that. Best hope not, or you'll be next to get a hook through your neck. The wolves killed him. Him and the others. We but gather the bodies. That's the truth. We're old and frail. We've no strength to plow or sow, but we gotta eat. Our pity, master. Folks say we witchers have no feelings. It's a barefaced lie. Right now, I feel rage, and I can't wait to vent. Any progress? Monster's dead. I slew it. It was a griffin. An arch-griffin, in fact. In that case, I'm grateful. Arch-grateful. Your reward. Hold up a minute. Recognize this? You accepted a contract. Reward paid up front, and higher than what you paid me. What am I meant to do? Business is what it is, and intermediaries deserve their due. What you're due is a punch in the face. Gold. Now. Some advice before you go. Don't ever try to cheat a witcher again. Ever. Volkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. He was... Uh, really no gentle way to put this. Cannibals ate him. Cannibals? A short ride from Novigrad. In Velen, that would be one thing, but... but here... God! You slew them, right? Tell me, you killed them! I did. He's been avenged. There's that. Uh, your coin. Take it, and... And now please, be on your way. I must write to Falkert's parents. Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. You blind, Hortensio! That's Geralt, old friend of mine. Come in, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. <laughs> Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I... You can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. How'd you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. <laughs> threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Temerian Army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Amir. What do you do here? Hunt Scoyatel? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoyatel anymore? Temeria. That's what matters. So long. A long way from Ophir. 
a long way and with dangerous fraud. But in our homeland, they say, in risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore, virgin lands discover, new knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new, to stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe, knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to trade. Mind if I have a look? Our craftsman's goods. You see worth in them? Quite a bit, I'd say. Ah, these are nothing compared to what I could offer had I not lost my prize diagrams. How do you lose them? To thieves. In our travels, I and my companions surprise attacked by local ruffians were. The diagrams, their loss. I bemoan not so much as I do one of my comrades. Killed in the violence. See if I can't find your diagrams. Recover them for you. These instructions, when followed, produce items worthy of a king. Tell me where you were attacked, remember? A crossroads, not far. Forgive me. For this area I know poorly. The detailed directions I cannot provide. North of the spot stood a residence, uh, near ruin. Should be able to find it. Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. My home I could speak until your ears withered, and your legs failed you. What here they call Ophir, in truth, is many diverse polities and peoples. A land it is of vast steppes, mountains forbidding, lakes clear as crystal, and wild lands untouched. A land of fallen empires, kingdoms at their peak, and tribes that know no monarchs, yet remember in myth a time when the world was young. You call any of these lands home? Yes. A town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy. Of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages and enclave. But about these last you should, my friend, interrogate. For one among them is he, a runerite. I'll make it a point to talk to him. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. Greetings. Greetings, and praise the world in its never-ending creation. Don't take this the wrong way, but honestly, world doesn't deserve much praise. <sighs> Nordlings. <laughs> Disagreeable always. Faces crinkled, soured, ready to quibble to death even a simple greeting. Aha! <laughs> but my tongue now has soured, while you for trade have come. Sadly, I can forge for you nothing. My belongings? Tools inclusive, all lost. You're a craftsman, or a mage. Your tongue has no word to fit my trade. A scholar and artisan I am. Part craftsman, part mage. Gematria, runecraft, familiar to you are these words? No. Runecraft seems pretty self-explanatory, though. True, though my craft further ventures. Runes and glyphs I first make then arrange into powerful magic words. Great practical applications as my art. For rune stones properly forged in a sword set so as to form a magic word, the blade more power grant than rune stones set haphazardly. Such words too can of glyphs be made and set in armor. Listen, folks sometimes hire me to solve their problems, even retrieved a missing item or two in my time. For me, this you cannot do. I sailed upon a great ship. It sank and my instruments took to the sea's dark depths. Buying replacements not an option? Of my own design they were, specially forged. A fortune it cost to make them. And all the coin that with me I had brought lies now in the murky abyss with my instruments. Seems your skills could be useful to me. Given that, I'd be happy to help you out. What do you say I get you the coin you need? Could pay me back in runes and glyphs. Is it certain your offer? A great sum I require. 
tools of great expense I need to make even the simplest cliff. I make no mention of the more advanced or master crafted. The way you talk about your art sound more like a man of faith than scholarship. Faith and scholarship for you lie in conflict. Yet in my land, holy men are scholars. Wisdom, their source of esteem. The Afiri believe in any gods? From region to region, this varies. Raised I was to believe in one god, the world. <laughs> Symbols are God's speech. To study his words is to draw nearer to him. Symbols, meaning runes and glyphs. Mere signs are these, an attempt by men imperfect to describe the world. Yet a magic to them there is, and from God all magic issues. When runes I create, when into words I arrange them, this is prayer. And when into swords I enchant them, that is my benediction. Can't help but wonder what brings you to our lands. A simple thing. For knowledge, a thirst. All he could, my mentor had taught me. The tongues of our lands I'd learned, of all our plants and animals I know the names. Risked that long a journey to learn new words? A life of plenty I would have lived at home, for the beauty and import of my art are respected. But such a life would be unfulfilled. Great and diverse is the world. For a pace continues its creation. A riddle it is, which through symbols speaks. The world's tongue to learn, I wish. The signs by which it speaks to discover. Their syntax to master. Through this, to learn the principles of creation. Got some coin on me. This enough? A uh, start, it is. Costly craft. Yet the costs do not end with coin. Need I shall also a jade stone of size substantial. Hmm. See what I can do. Trail ends here. Hmm. Dirt and ground cover concealing a hatch. Secret passageway. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Managed to recover all your diagrams. Ah, want to be relied on. This I knew. You restore the faith I might have in men. For I've now received aid from a stranger in even this land most barbarous. Don't mention it, really. As agreed, I shall draft your duplicates, though it may take a day. Be so kind as to return tomorrow. Your reward I will have for you. All right. Tomorrow, then. Hard at work. Good to see. Ah, yes. Commissioned have I tools. A fitting set from Novigrad crafters. Many arms and legs they charged, but renew my work in earnest I now can. New runes, glyphs, and diagrams created I have. An eye you should cast. Find one to your liking, perchance. So, nothing holding you back now. From making master-crafted runes, you mean? Much more coin I will need to do so, sadly. Better be all you need. For tools it is enough, but ingredients rare also I recall. Nope, not gonna happen. Now let me see what my coins bought. Now have I all I require. Sure about that? My running costs to cover small sums will suffice. And no more rare stones do I need. Almost too good to be true. A cask of wine from the homeland I have. Our mutual success we should toast. Your health. For your aid, I thank you. My newest creations to examine you may wish. <laughs> 